The Inspector General of Government, Betty Kamia, is on a countrywide tour sensitizing the public against corruption. While launching the Whistleblowers Reward Scheme and Lifestyle Audit, Betty Kamia urged residents to be watchdogs against public officials who amass wealth, not commensurate with their salaries. So, I was here to incite the population to rise up and join the war of corruption. And I told them to look out for two things. One, the lifestyle of their leaders or their neighbors. Two, to look out for government programs. Reports indicate that over 10 trillion shillings is lost annually, which has continued to deter service delivery. The government sends money from Kampala, from the Minister of Finance. But the journey from the Minister of Finance to the contractor, there are stages, and at each stage, that money is chopped at each stage. By the time it reaches the contractor, it cannot do a good job. Hence the shoddy work, hence the poor roads. The tour began from Mumbarara district with a spot check on Wizibwera Health Center 4 in Wizibwera Town Council, where she discovered that the facility receives 200 patients every day but with only one senior doctor who also does both clinical and administration work. It was a challenge because you work half, you can only cover half, and the rest have to be sent to the regional referral hospital. So you get calls from the regional referral, you are over referring, the mothers don't have fuel. Which says, if you are going for study, give a two-year notice so that the, the, the replacement, because we know our difficulties, mm -hmm. and I don't think you plan to to go and go immediately. No, no. with where a health center for, uh, of course, has two doctors, one of, of whom one is on, uh, on study leave and one is doing both management and, uh, and the general surgery. So, but as a district, uh, after realizing this, we decided to recruit. Now we have already advertised, the deadline uh, for submission is end of this month. Kamiya later met Mbarara district leaders and residents at Rubindi Parish, where residents said their leaders are involved in all sorts of misconduct, including extortion, poor service delivery, among others. <laughs>